Hey my loves, welcome back to Between Us Tarot. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Whenever you come across today's video, and as you can see, we are going to be looking at messages from your person. So yeah loves, we're going to get straight into it, okay? For the question of the day, I was going to ask you guys, um, what was my question? <laughs> I'm like, I was just thinking about it. Oh yeah, um what is your favorite childhood movie so let me know down below it doesn't matter where you're from okay just what is your favorite childhood movie i want to know what it is and why so yeah loves and let's get into it so we have three beautiful piles in front of us here today we have pile one pile two and pile three for pile one we have this beautiful how light crystal okay this is going to be our pile one for pile two, we have the beautiful pink opalite crystal, okay, in a shape of a crescent moon. This is going to be our pile two. And for pile three, we have the beautiful uh, rutilated quartz. So this is going to be our pile three. So I'll give you guys a few seconds uh, to pick your pile or piles if you guys absolutely feel called to more than one, okay? And with that being said, loves, I'm going to go ahead and start with pile one. Hey, pile one, for you guys that chose the How Light Crystal, the beautiful How Light Crystal, let's go ahead and see what is it that your person wants to say to you, okay? Um, this can be like one main message or multiple messages, but let's see what it is that they have to say. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Magician. We have the Four of Swords. And we have the Two of Swords. We have Connection. That's beautiful. We have Contract. We have a Dragon's Lair. Okay. Cool. And let me get the bottom of your deck, loves. And I will fix the camera in just a second. Okay. And we're going to see what is it that they want to say to you, pile one. Okay, pile one. Yeah, so there's quite like there's a few things that your person wants to tell you at this time, okay? I am seeing here that your person is wanting to let you know that right now they could be working on or just like focused on gaining abundance, okay? Now, for a lot of you guys, I am getting that this is maybe some sort of financial stability with this Knight of, Nine of Pentacles here, but it can be anything, okay? Um, yeah, whatever this is, I do feel like Pile 1, this person is trying to... For others of you guys, I am seeing here, like, the other message is this person is trying to gain some sort of independence, okay? I am getting that message as well. I'm also seeing here that... Mm, I don't know why I'm getting this message. Your person may not be aware of this, okay? But they're actually a really good manifester, whoever your person is, Pile 1, okay? Okay. I'm actually seeing that your person at this time is like a baby manifester, okay? Um, that is still learning how to uh, how to get better at it or maybe how to manifest more into their life. But I am seeing that once this person like keeps going, they are going to manifest like really big things, beautiful things. I'm seeing abundance in like the Nine of Pentacles card, but I'm also seeing abundance in the Magician card, like with all the flowers in the background. And it's because this person is believing and we see a kid here, right? With this Magician card. So yeah, I'm even getting for some of you guys that this person's, whatever it is that they have manifested, it's at like a baby stage right now. Um, it could be that it's already maybe has manifested in the 5D and it's just about now it becoming a reality in the 3D. Okay, yeah. Now, 
yeah, why they're wanting to let you know this. Uh, I am getting that they're wanting to let you know this. It's because like this person is focusing on that right now. Like this means something to them. Whatever it is that they're trying to grow. This again, pile one, this could be anything. And they are wanting to let you know that this is this is something that is important to them. Okay. Mm, it's almost like they want to bring something to the table. Okay. Yeah. I'm also getting that your person is wanting to let you know that at times it's like they try to relax, they try to get some rest, they try to, you know, be calm, but then there is something within them that maybe they feel like something bad is going to happen or like they're being maybe attacked. This could, like, they could be thinking that the universe is going to get them or something, or just that something bad might happen, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to, it has to be like, by the universe but they are feeling like that they're like something bad might happen okay for some of you guys i'm even getting that this person is letting you know that they're getting like nightmares or some bad dreams okay yeah and like that they can't get out of it okay yeah like maybe they can't get out of certain something that is troubling them okay yeah i'm also getting that that your person is wanting to let you know that but i will say pile one there's a huge message here to not worry like you don't you don't really have to worry about your person because with the dragon dragon's layer this is all about um this is all about protection okay from the divine dragons are really closely known to be some of the most connectors to like god and the universe and they're full of protection okay and i'm just seeing here that like they are this person is protected now i'm also getting a message here that this person could be going through some sort of karmic cycles these karmic cycles could be anything they could be attached to like just and any part of their life okay maybe they, this person has to go through certain experiences okay and to complete those uh complete those cycles so that they can come out on top yeah this is what i'm getting but this person ultimately pile one is protected there's nothing that you have to really worry about worry about here i'm also getting there's so many messages that are coming through pile one so i'm so sorry if i'm all over the place okay because i feel like it's just one after the other there's a huge message here that like I do feel like your person can sense that at times they make you confused, okay, or just what's going on can make, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sensing someone here getting confused at times or feeling like their hands are tied, um, I'm, I'm actually getting that at times, both of, like, at different times, both of you guys feel like your hands are tied, like, at times I'm seeing the masculine energy, hands being tied but then at the same time i'm also getting that my feminine energy um their hands could also be getting tied like you guys have that feeling it's not that it's true okay you just are feeling like this uh and your person when like when you start feeling like that pile one just know that your person is letting you know that they want like they'll do anything to get you out of this confusion okay i'm honestly getting this more so at a 5d level like it could be that you guys are maybe mirroring because if we see the four of swords we see a guy with his hands tied like to this bed like he can't move and something is coming towards him right and here we have the woman here and sh her hands are tied as well so yeah i'm getting a huge message about that but there like there is a message from your person pile one that they're wanting to let you know like they don't want you to overthink okay ultimately like even if they're going through something where they feel like they're trapped or they feel like they're going through or if they are going through karmic cycles and just um feeling like something bad is gonna happen they don't want you to feel like that they want you to be like the freer one to know that everything is gonna be okay i don't know i'm saying yeah pile one this is so sweet like this message from your person it's like they want you to know like they want you to be worry free honestly okay pile one this is what i'm getting yeah let's look at the yeah okay so we have oh yeah okay <laughs> we have the seven of wands as the underlying energy we have the three of pentacles as the crowning got some hard workers here we have the two of wands 
And we have the Seven of Swords. Underneath is the moon. Okay, yeah. So I am picking up that there is just this message from the divine that this path is not easy. Like this path between you and this person maybe hasn't been easy in the past and maybe traveling through it at this time isn't easy as well. There could be a lot of fears coming up. But pile one, just know that there's that they are just fears, okay? It's not that it's your reality, okay? Um, I am seeing like whatever these karmic cycles, they will end. Okay, yeah, I'm getting like a huge ping about that. They will end whenever it's time for them to end. Okay, whatever it is that your person is going through. Yeah, because I'm also seeing that your person is letting you know that they've made a contract with you. Like they want to, they want to fulfill whatever this is with you with this beautiful connection. I'm actually even seeing that your person could be sending you songs through the 5d or for some of you guys it could be that you share a playlist or something or you guys have there's something about a music connection here okay there's definitely maybe your person hears uh music and thinks about you or maybe sends you songs okay unknowingly like <laughs> this is so sweet so yeah pile one i'm definitely seeing music here as like a sign so if you guys do come upon a song or something like that and you feel that it has a meaning i, I am seeing that as some sort of sign here between you and your person mm -hmm. yeah i'm also getting here uh pile one that this person like i do sense that this person really is a hard worker okay they at this time and i don't know why i keep getting this energy for both of you guys that I, I am seeing a little bit of mirroring in this in this in, in this pile pile one so yeah i'm also getting that my feminine energy is also a very hard worker so this is interesting yeah <laughs> at this time i feel like your person is wanting to let you know that they want you to focus on your on your abundance on your work okay to keep doing that because they are also doing that okay and yeah this is what's going to for some reason i am getting that this will help you guys kind of uh make the path a bit easier okay for you guys to keep focusing on what it is that you want to build pile one and your person is also focusing on what it is that they want to build because there is a beautiful connection here i'm just seeing that fears need to be wiped out um certain karmic cycles need to be ended here okay mm. and like the main message here actually pile one like i'm not actually getting that this is from your person i'm more so getting that this is from the universe again there's a huge like i would say the biggest message from the universe in this pile okay sometimes we do pick up on that and i'm getting here that it that again this this connection is protected you don't need to be worried and i usually don't get that message a lot for uh, a lot of piles but with the seven of swords i feel like spirit is being sneaky a bit okay in this in this connection here but you guys are being protected because to the universe this connection is special okay it's like a diamond it's 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 very very special and it is protected black is all about protection and even with the dragon's lair it's a little dark but it's because they're protecting you pile one you and this connection regardless of what happens here is what i'm getting yeah yeah, I'm I'm seeing here that someone could be feeling I'm picking up that this could be my feminine energy, okay? That someone here could be feeling like you're walking this path blindly, like you're not sure what's going to happen, but you're like, "Hey, I've made my decision, so let's just see." Okay? And there is just this message about it's okay. Things are protected at this time. And I'm actually seeing here that your person is also wanting, like, they're wanting to let you know that they want you to keep fighting for this connection with the Seven of Wands. It's like they're letting you know, you know what, whatever obstacle comes our way or your way, keep going. Like, keep keep going because ultimately there is something beautiful that is going to be built out of this. I'm not sure why I'm getting that message, but uh yeah your person is wanting you to keep going and of course pile one this is your choice okay um if you feel called to do so at the end of the day i am seeing you guys as victorious you guys are warriors 
So I'm also getting that your person is also a warrior, a pile one. This is very beautiful. All right, pile one, what the heck? <laughs> so yeah, a lot of messages about protection, a lot of messages um, about fears coming up and yeah, maybe some confusion come up. But regardless of the fact there and, and karmic cycles, okay, yeah. Just, yeah, just know that these are fears, okay? Karmic cycles will end. And at this time, I think the best thing to do, and again, this is even a message from your person, is to keep focusing on your other commitments as well. It's not that you can't give to this connection, okay? It's not that you can't give attention to your person or anything like that. No, it's it's not that, regardless of what's going on in your in uh your connection pile one okay but i'm just seeing that at this time uh yeah to to work on your own commitments because this will help things further along and i am getting that yeah i'm seeing that maybe your person wants to dedicate a song to you or something like that as well okay <laughs> that's so cute so let's get some more messages from my pile one. Messages from my pile one's person, please. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. You are my destiny. I do feel a lot of love here, pile one. Maybe some, like, I don't know what I'm getting. Maybe some goals need to be completed first, okay? Yeah, uh, before you guys come into union, uh, we have, I feel overwhelmed. Yeah. I will say, Pile 1, be a little bit, like, if you can, okay, be be a bit light with this person because they are going through a lot. Not that you guys aren't, okay, it's not that your feelings aren't valid or anything like that, but um, be light-handed with this person for sure. You rock my world. That's so sweet. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then we have, I am building up the nerve to approach you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so this person could be maybe building up the nerve to say something to you too. It can be big or small, okay? Uh, yeah, to say something to you. For some of you guys, if you guys are in no communication, it could be to talk to you, okay? Uh, it's so many things, Pio want to offer you something, yeah. Here it says, I want to go on an adventure with you. And I'm just gonna get some more messages. <laughs> messages from my pile once person. Thank you. Yeah, you have uh, your perfect custom fit and the card says trust. So there is a pile when you are being called to trust, okay, with whatever it is that you and this person are going through. Oh my god, I almost dropped the whole thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pio One. There we go. Message from my Pio One's person. Okay. It says, I'm lost without you, emptiness. Mm, yeah. Your person really does value you, Pio One. Don't think that because, like, there's so many messages that are coming through. Don't think that because your person's focus, like, on work or on their commitments for work or whatever it is that they're trying to grow, whatever avenue or area of this life that they're trying to build, like, their stability, their foundation, just because they're focusing on that, don't think that they don't care about you because it's, it's not true, Okay your person is still learning like i said they're like they're like the baby magician let them grow into an older magician <laughs> okay let's see what else did you guys get ready to follow you anywhere surrender you guys if you, you guys are getting the cutest cards i can't okay because <laughs> not all the cards are like that Ooh. I really feel like this person also really values your input, like whatever it is that you have to say or guidance that you have to give them, like they value you, pile, pile one. It's, it's very, like I said, this is a very beautiful connection. I'm getting like really positive vibes. Mm. A lot of light too. Um, like you are the light for them is almost what I'm getting. Thank you. 
what did you guys get journey of love and this is a journey isn't it journey to union that's funny how that's your last card at bottom of the deck is dreams i'm so proud of you so if someone some of you guys have like recently accomplished something or you're working towards something because i am getting i keep getting that energy where someone's working towards a goal maybe both of you guys are because i'm seeing mirroring here and mirroring here between you guys so yeah this person is proud of you keep going because ultimately like i said loves for some reason i am picking up this message where if you continue to work on your commitments and this person also does that and you guys kind of cheer each other on okay this is gonna lead to something very beautiful <laughs> i do want to get you guys some advice because we always get advice on this channel it's like one of my favorite parts advice <laughs> let's see we're gonna be using what is this the c melodies uh oracle cards so let's see advice from my pile one in this connection i feel like your person was even telling you advice honestly with like to continue to work on your own commitments okay and there is something sneaky <laughs> spirit is doing something something sneaky advice from my pile once person just one please just one wait why did i say that no just advice for my pile one in this connection <laughs> advice for my pile one too many just one oh yeah you guys had this one flip over so it says strength the state of flow and feel steady and calm i'm telling you guys yeah pile one i know it's hard sometimes but i really want you guys to be as strong as you can at this time okay even like because i am getting that you guys are going through confusion at times you guys feel like you're going on this path blindfolded because maybe you're not getting a lot from your person or they're not giving you too much to work with and you're feeling like is something up is something bad gonna happen pile one i'm honestly here just seeing look at that look at what's underneath in the future three of wands and you see that guy it's funny you got strength and the line is that's what it represents right um this guy is coming through this like <laughs> sturdy like opening here on top of the lion so yeah like pile one i feel like give this person a little bit more credit okay and have a little bit of faith in them because this person is strong and you're equally as strong pile one okay please keep going um yeah there's nothing bad here it's just fears with this moon card okay and the other messages that i got above here there's just a lot of fears that are floating around at this time but just take them as that okay fears because I am getting that you guys will continue to receive signs, pile one. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that, you guys. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me. And don't forget to answer the question of the day if you guys want to, okay? Um, the question of the day was, what was it? I always forget. <laughs> yes, what is your, what is your childhood? What is your favorite childhood movie? Let me know down below. It can be anything, okay? And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, pile two for you guys that chose the rose quartz, or not the rose quartz, I'm so sorry, the pink opalite crescent moon crystal. Let's go ahead and see what is it that your person wants to tell you at this time, okay? And like I was telling pile one, this could be one main message or multiple messages, okay? So let's see what message your person has for you. We have the chariot, we have the nine of pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Page of Cups. Okay. We have Self Respect, Cornucopia, and we have Flying. All right. And let me just get the bottom of your deck here.
tile too. Okay. Okay, pile two. So what is it that your person is wanting to tell you? First of all, pile two, like I'm seeing like, yeah, <laughs> like there is a really big message here that your person, okay, they want to continue to go the distance when it comes to this connection, okay, with you. They want to continue to, they just want to keep continuing this, whatever, um, like, I don't know, I'm seeing that this person does want you in their life, okay? I'm also getting that this person really values your independence, like, highly values the, like, there, there's a lot of respect for you, Pile 2 here, okay? Yeah, that this person has for you is what I'm getting here. It's like part of you, like, you're so compassionate, you're so sweet, you're so loving, you're so giving, and at the same time, you have this side where you're also very independent, though, like, Yes, you know when to invest. Yes, you have a lot of love to give. Like, and I do see that this person, you've shown them this side of you, this Queen of Cups side to you, okay? You're spiritual, you're strong, you're loving. Like, I don't know, I'm just getting that from my pile too, whoever my feminine energy is. When you give, you absolutely give, okay? And your person also sees, okay, with all of those qualities that you have, you also, but you don't chase, okay? So you have all of these qualities, yet you're so independent, like, um, and I do see that this is, like, one of the reasons why your person wants to continue to, like, fight for your love or continue to go the distance with you pile too and they're wanting to let you know this that they do value you a lot okay yeah i'm even getting here with the self-respect card it could be that maybe some of you guys have walked away from this connection at some point or maybe right now you guys could be at a distance okay it'll be different for all of you guys but your person is very well aware that like you you do like um Respect is important to you, Pile 2, which it should be, right? A person should respect you. And I am seeing that this person is very well aware that uh, you'll do what it takes, you know, for you to find your own happiness as well. Yeah, I am getting that. Okay, let's look at the rest of your messages here. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Hierophant. We have the Two of Swords as the crowning energy. We have, okay, yeah, the Queen of Swords here. <clears throat> underneath is the strength card okay pile two yeah i am getting that at this time okay this person could be maybe a little bit confused or maybe like they're not they could not be understanding everything about this connection okay it's like they still have a lot to learn is what I'm getting from this person, okay? And they are letting you know that, that they still have a lot to learn. Like at this time, you know, they're looking at you as the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, right? And they're wanting to continue to go the distance with this connection. And at this time, what they're willing to give you is the Page of Cups. And yeah, pile two. I'm not seeing that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Like a person does deserve the time and space to grow. Yeah. I am seeing that. Uh, at, like, of course, pile two. Um, it's always your choice, you know, like whether what it is that you want to do with this connection and how you want to move forward on your path, okay? That is always, always, always your choice. I am getting that, yeah. But yeah, pile two. So that's just, this is like a message that I'm getting here with the Page of Cups is that this person is... Yeah, they're willing to just th to give you the page of cups at this time, like a friendship, okay, or like little things here and there, okay, is what I'm getting. Yeah, to continue to show you that they're like in your life or that they want to be part of your life. So yeah, pile two, I'm just getting like as advice. I don't, I always get you guys advice at the end, okay, but I'm already getting advice here to allow this person to, um... Allow this person to figure it out because for you guys, Pile 2, I am picking up that this person is still figuring it out and that's fine. That's okay. 
uh, it and like I was saying yeah because here at the bottom with the underlying energy with the two of wands I am seeing that this person is starting to think about the future okay like they're starting to think about what it is that they want in the future what it is that maybe they envision with you okay and with the crowning energy as the two of swords it's like they still need to figure it out they still need to see things clearly i am seeing that maybe they're blocking some things out even okay and they're not maybe even aware that they do this okay but this message is coming out as to you know i'm getting that you have to have patience with this person if this is a path that you want to pursue with them okay because this person is willing to go the distance it's just like are you willing to go the distance pile two all right they just need some time to figure it out yeah with the Hierophant card here as well, I am getting that this person does somewhere inside of them, okay? They do want stability with you. I am seeing that even like in the future, they probably would want some sort of marriage if you guys believe in that, okay? Some sort of, yeah, higher commitment is what I'm getting, okay? Yeah, and I am seeing here with the, like, there are a lot of signs here from this person that they want, like, a family with you, they want to get married with you, they want to have you as a, some, a spouse, okay, yeah. It could be that some of you guys have maybe blocked this person, or you have your guard up, or something like that, okay. Yeah, and pile two, like, again, I am getting this message here that, um... It, of course, all of your, all of you are going through, like, a different situation, but, um, yeah, just continue to allow this person to grow if this is what you're wanting to pursue, and, of course, at the same time, you keep filling your own cup, you keep doing your own thing, okay, and it's not wrong to have a friendship with this person, it's not wrong to, uh, pursue this because I am seeing that uh, this person will figure it out here we even have the strength card okay I do feel like your person could have um, some wounds that they're still having to work through okay and they do find you as like their strength I am seeing that they do see you as their strength pile two yeah and they're wanting to let you know this this is yeah what i'm getting here is this person's mind is starting to kind of go towards the way of a higher commitment even with the flying card here it's like your person at this time i don't know it could be that they overthink things and they go round and round and round in their mind okay in their thoughts but i'm seeing that they are starting to view things from a higher perspective even with the hierophant card here this person is going to gain a lot of wisdom throughout this journey i am seeing that as a really big sign pile two yeah yeah, there is something about your pile. Uh, the candle just went out. Give me one second, loves. Okay, I got a candle back on. <laughs> but there is definitely a message there. When the candles go out or something, yeah. Um, there definitely is a message here. This person will gain wisdom pile too. It's just that it might take some time. Okay, so i am seeing that at this time maybe have some compassion for this person and again that doesn't mean that like you have to let someone walk over you that doesn't mean that you have to let someone control you that you have to give in to certain things um that you're not okay with okay like if this person isn't offering you a commitment but you want a commitment right um of course that's always your choice okay about what you want to do about that okay but i am just seeing here that continue to go on your own path and if you feel comfortable being friends with this person while they figure it out then it's okay there's nothing wrong with that yeah let this person like find themselves this is what i'm getting pile to allow this person to find themselves allow this person to figure out what it is that they want in the future especially because that's what is gonna happen i'm seeing that these are the next steps actually sometimes i do pick up on that and yeah this is what's happening with this person is they are figuring out what they want in the future maybe how to go about that maybe even planning on how to go about that okay pile two yeah we even have cornucopia here and this is a lot like the two of cups like this person wants abundance with you this person envisions and this is part of what they want to tell you that like their mind is starting to change they're starting to see things 
from a different point of view, okay? And all of that, all of that growth takes time. Yeah. Yeah, pile two. Now, if someone, like, if pile two, like, always follow your intuition. Obviously, like, if you are dealing with someone that's toxic or you just know that they're not good for you, then you already know what to do, okay? But for most of you guys, I'm getting that this person just needs some time, okay? Yeah, so I am getting that. And they do value you. Like, they do see your value. They value, like, they know that you deserve respect, that you deserve the love, that you deserve everything. This person does see that pile too, yeah. So let's, this is a very straightforward message for you guys. And I'm also seeing so many twos in your in your pile okay i mean your pile too but you have the two of swords you have two for the cornucopia you have flying this is the number 20 which is a two and then you have the two of wands here as well so um and two is all about the number of union so yeah pile two there is something <laughs> there is something here that your person uh is thinking about when it comes to union okay yeah there is a reason that they want to go the distance they see something very special in you yeah and we will get you advice at the end here let's go ahead and see and i will say loves uh for whoever picked this pile you know setting boundaries is not a bad thing like there has to be a balance to everything okay like if you are uh, allowing this person you know to have their time to figure things out to grow right while you do your thing like it's not bad to have to have boundaries like with the queen of swords here right because yeah um, don't ever look at that as a bad thing and you can always set boundaries like boundaries are very healthy you can always set them in uh in a calm way it does not have to be harsh okay yeah and i'm even getting a, a message here pile two about compassion as well so let's see messages from my pile two's person too many messages from my pile two's person oh my god if they're going crazy give me one second loves okay messages from my pile two's person I feel like you would be better off without me and I am picking up like with the strength card here that this person may have some um insecurities okay may like I said I did pick up that this person has a lot of wounds so they could be feeling like they're not good enough for you like for them to show up as the page of cups and you're the queen of cups right they're offering you what they can because this is what they feel like they can offer you at this time yeah this is what I'm getting This is something that this person needs to heal, okay? These insecurities. Let's see. Message from my pile twos person. I check your social media all the time. Yeah. You are magnetic to me. Yeah, I feel like uh, I am picking that up for a lot of you guys. This person can't stay away. And it says you are, oh, we also have you are my destiny. Bottom of the deck is are we still friends? So some of you guys, I am picking up, like there's two different groups that are watching this. For some of you guys, it could be that maybe you cut off this person or like I said, you blocked them. And I will say loves, like I said, if you feel like that's the right thing to do then don't you know don't question your decision you know if this person did 
disrespect you in some way or cross the line in some way, okay? Or, you know, whatever it is that you're feeling like, yeah, this person isn't good for me, follow that intuition. For some of, for others of you guys, okay, if a person is just needing some time to get their things together, okay, to figure out what it is that they want, to grow up, okay, um, that's not a bad thing. Allow them to have that time and you, like I said, continue to fill your own cup. Let's see. Let's get you guys some more messages. But yeah, I am picking up someone here asking, like, are we still friends? Like, what's going on, you know? Messages from a pile two's person. It says, ready to follow you anywhere. Surrender. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm, honestly, this is what I'm seeing is that this person, uh, eventually, for the ones that are serious, for my pile too, the ones that are serious about, like, finding their way, which I am sensing that a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of my pile too, okay, is for the exception of some, like, I am picking up that this person does want to follow their way, they want to, like, they want to follow, um, they want to figure it out, okay, they want to follow the path that they're being called to, and I am seeing that you could subconsciously, okay, or even, like, energetically be leading this person, yeah, because this woman has, like, she's holding his hand, right, and she's leading him, so, yeah, at the end of the day, pile two, surrendering is going to be the best thing possible. The universe will show you how to move forward. Yeah, we have I'm lost without you. Yeah, I keep getting that maybe you're like this sense of direction to this person. Okay, pile two. Oh, too many. <laughs> Let's see. from my pile two person thank you we have i need you to tell me what to do dominating okay yeah this person could be also going through a lot of sexual feelings okay towards you at this time and then you guys have journey to love union yeah bottom of the deck is denial i keep telling myself it's not over so like i said i am sensing maybe some of you guys could have walked away maybe some of you guys had a breakup with this person recently okay like i said i am feeling like i'm talking to two groups here yeah so yeah for one group like i said maybe something pretty bad happened okay or like i said this person could have crossed the line and it's up to you what you want to do with that okay loves and for the others of you guys it's just about letting someone grow, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am getting that. Let's see. Let's see. At the end of the day, pile two, I will say, and everyone... Uh, here, whichever group you resonated with, it doesn't matter. Um, you need to do what's best for you, okay? If you feel called to, you know, to follow this path with this person, then you do that. And for others of you guys, if you feel like this person isn't for you for whatever reason, okay, and you've just been shown time and time again that they're not treating you right, okay? Um, despite, yeah, despite, uh, whatever the case may be, okay, then follow your own path. Follow what it is that you need to do. Advice from my pile two. There we go. We have, oh my god, you got the same card as pile one. Okay, so you have strength. Stay afloat and feel, and feel steady and calm. So yeah, loves, this is beautiful. You do need to be strong at this time okay feel steady feel calm everything's going to be fine whatever it is that you choose because i am seeing my pile too you guys have the answers within okay you guys are very wise people you need to follow your heart all right be clear-headed of course first and then follow your heart 
Um, and yeah, no, that's that's the best advice that I can give you. Whatever it is that you feel you're feeling deep down inside, okay, that's going to be best for you. Do that. Okay, love. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. Don't forget to answer uh, the question of the day if you guys feel called to. What is your favorite childhood movie? All right, love. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. You guys are amazing. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, pile three for you guys that chose the rutilated quartz. Let's go ahead and see what is it that my pile threes person, uh, what is it that your person wants to tell you at this time? And this can be um, one specific message or multiple messages, okay? So we have the eight of cups, we have the devil, we have the five of pentacles, and we have the fool. We have Chivalry, Angel of Balance, and we have Deep Freeze. All right. Beautiful cards here. Uh, bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. And just give me a second left to look at this. Okay. All right, pile three. So yeah, what is it that this person is wanting to tell you at this time? Okay. Yeah, I am getting that for this pile. This person is wanting to come in like the divine masculine for you, okay? I do see that this person maybe wants to take you out, okay? They want to, like this person wants to spoil you, pile three, okay? Like that's one of the messages here that this person is wanting to tell you is that like, hey, I want to give you something. I want to, like, I wouldn't be surprised if this person maybe sends you gifts, okay? At times here and there, okay? Just to show like their appreciation for you um this could even be like at random but i'm getting yeah this is this is really sweet energy and i will say loves that there's a lot coming through for this pile okay uh at this time i am picking up that your person is going through quite a bit okay so there's a few messages coming out i am getting that if this person seems a bit distant at times okay do not take it personal. This person is, like, they're fighting off devil energy, okay? Yeah, like, at, time, at times, this person can get pretty low, is what I'm picking up. Yeah, that's crazy. So I'm sorry if there was like a little um pause there. My laptop died when I said that. So I definitely think that at times this person can kind of shut off, okay? But it's not because they don't love you. It's not because they don't care about you or this connection. Like I am getting that this person is going through quite a bit, okay? With the deep freeze, like lions are it's a symbol of strength okay and it's a symbol of um 
God as well. So it's, I am getting that this person is a very strong per person, by the way, Pile 2. Like, this person is a fighter, okay? Like, no doubt about it, this person is a fighter is what I'm seeing here. Um, but with the deep freeze, I am getting that at this time, they could be going through, like, this period of stagnation in their life, okay? Where they feel like everything's frozen, like, maybe things aren't moving or... Um, they feel like they can't take some sort of action towards you, okay, for whatever reason. I'm also getting that for others of you guys, like, this is, it's meant to be like this, okay, because, like, if you see here, it's winter, okay, but all seasons change, like, after winter, it's gonna get, it's gonna start to get warm again, right, so the ice will melt, and things will get, like, moving again, pile three, so that's another message that's coming through. Now, I am getting that for some of you guys, I am picking up that it could have been that you took, uh, that maybe you and this person could have had some sort of break, okay, maybe you guys had a break, uh, or a separation of some sort or something like that in the past, or for some of you guys, you guys could be going through this right now, but for others of you guys, this could have been in the past or something, and I am seeing that this had to happen so that a rebirth could occur later on okay yeah yeah like i am seeing like this person is letting you know that they want a rebirth in your connection they want things to start up again all right and i'm seeing this as a process like i said your person is fighting off devil energy at the same time like look at this we have the five of pentacles i do sense that maybe this person feels lonely at times okay but uh they're, they can do it, okay? They can do it. This card says endurance. You usually don't see that type of energy in the Five of Pentacles. And this is showing that, like, you know, the experiences that your person is going through at this time is giving them endurance. They're being shown how strong they are, how they can pick themselves up uh, after falling down, okay? However many times that they fell down in life, okay? Yeah, however many times that they've gone through certain experiences that were negative, all of this is showing them that they are so strong, is what I'm getting. Yeah, and that they can keep going. I'm even getting that out for a lot of you guys. This person is giving, being given endurance to keep going in this connection because I am seeing that this person deeply cares about you, Pile 3. I don't know. This is, There is something pretty deep here, okay? With the Angel of Balance, I'm also getting that this person views you as their balance, okay? Maybe as their stability here. I'm even getting that maybe your presence or them, you know, talking to you or being with you gives them a lot of balance in their life okay so i don't know i'm already get sometimes i get advice beforehand okay i will get you guys advice at the end but if you are in communication with this person just be light be there for them don't um put any pressure don't and i know uh pile three like sometimes it's hard okay but like i am seeing that this person is needing lightness at this time like for someone to just be light because it is a lot that they're going through not that whatever you're going through pile three is not valid or anything like that okay of course it is continue to give to yourself but if you are if you are feeling called to be there for this person there is no harm in that because i'm seeing that this is this person is freaking they're amazing <laughs> i don't know i just yeah, I'm getting that this person has a very special energy and they are going to get through this. Like, this person is pretty badass, I have to say, okay? Your person, Pile 3. Mm, I like their energy a lot. They're just going through some tough times, but I'm seeing that all of this is being given by the universe. So, like... <laughs> Yeah, it's almost like they might not understand it right now, but all of this stress, all of these obstacles that this person is having to go through, it, okay, is so that it builds them. It makes them stronger. It builds their character. It's so that they come out stronger at the end of it. This is amazing, honestly. And we have the full card here, and if you see this person is about to jump, and we see a rainbow in the, in, in the water, right? And a rainbow is all about miracles. So, I don't know. I'm actually getting that. I know we're asking messages from your person, Pile 3, but I'm. Yeah, sometimes this happens where I get messages from Spirit as well. And I am getting more so messages from Spirit letting you know what's going on in this person's life. Like, 
this person is is going to surrender if they haven't already i am seeing that movie for some of you guys this person already has like they're letting like with the full card here they're letting the universe take care of what it is that they need to take care of which is so beautiful pile three like surrendering is such it's something very pure and sacred so i would suggest that you my pile three do the same thing okay because you will be shown miracles regardless of the outcome when you surrender. Let's look at the rest of the energy. Okay, yeah, I totally get it, Pile 3. It's okay. We have the Page of Pentacles as the underlying. Yeah, look, Queen of Cups as the crowning. That's beautiful. Ten of Pentacles here. And here we have the Four of Cups. Underneath is the Six. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, at times I am picking up, there's so many messages coming through that this person really wants to give you an offer, by the way, Pile 3. Like, they want to maybe even tell you something, let you know about something, what they're planning, okay? But then maybe at times they go, oh, no, never mind, okay? Um, I can't do that. Like, I am feeling that your person, Pile 3, they get into the energy of, like, I can't do that right now. Like, I can't make a move right now. Like, for whatever reason, they do see what they want with you, okay? And for a lot of you guys, I'm seeing that they're aware, okay, of what they want with you, what they want to offer you even. But then at the same time, they could be in this energy of, like, I can't do that right now. Um, and I feel for them, Pile 3, like I said, if you're being called to be there for them, definitely be there for them and just be compassionate okay understand that this person is not having an easy time and they're going through their own struggles allow them to come out of this because they are going to come out of this very strong as well as you pile three for um keeping your faith and trust okay and i am getting that yeah i'm getting that maybe even my feminine energy in this pile could be thinking like oh my god is anything ever gonna happen <laughs> um uh, yeah, even with the Six of Pentacles here, I feel like you guys could at times be feeling like you're begging from the universe, like, can you show me a sign, please, or what the heck is going on, okay? But yeah, it's almost like you and this person could be going through similar things, okay? Uh, and it's building both of you, both of you, uh, your characters. It's, it's leading for both of you to surrender, Okay, and then after that, you can see the magic happen. After you surrender, after you detach, that's when you see miracles come true is what I'm picking up, pile three. This is a very deep message. Yeah, a lot of these messages that are coming through are from spirit, not your person. <laughs> it's all right. Um, your person is wanting to let you know, pile three, that they see you as the queen of cups, though. Like, you do make their heart flutter. You make their heart, like, they, I mean yeah pile three for a lot of you guys it's like there's so much emotion when they think about you okay i am picking that up uh you guys are so compassionate and so loving and they see your love like it's so apparent here and a lot of these cards i'm seeing a bunch of water okay and water is all about the emotion you guys have like regardless of what sign you are pile three uh, I am getting that there's just a lot of emotion in this pile. You guys could be going through it up and downs, up and downs, okay? But just know that there is supposed to be a bit of stagnancy here. And it's so that it builds your character, your person's character, so that you guys lead yourselves to surrendering. This is so beautiful, honestly. And the universe will definitely deliver. Yeah, you guys could be feeling like you're going through like a desert, like a dry moment right now, but everything's going to be flat, fine. I'm even seeing that things are balancing out pile three, so just give it some time. I'm even seeing here in the future with the Ten of Pentacles, uh, like there is stability coming in. Your person sees you as home, pile three okay like they do see you as their home they see you as their stability their balance yeah and i have to say pile three like that's pretty deep when someone sees you as home okay or defines you as their home because a home doesn't have to be a place where you live a home doesn't have to be a certain destination um for you like for this person their home is you yeah 
Yeah, pile three. So just allow this person to get out of this energy, and they will. Like, I'm even seeing, like I said, with the angel of balance, there could even be some, like, angelic protection here, okay, that is helping you guys balance things out. Yeah, so just allow them to do this work. Allow the universe to do what it is that they need to do. Uh, this dry period of time, okay, where things seem frozen, where things seem stuck, stagnant, it's not going to be forever. It's not. Things will move forward. Yeah, I am getting that this person is like going to get ready to pounce towards you in the future. There is some sexual energy in this pile as well. Okay, so what are some messages for my pile threes person? Okay, let's see. <laughs> it says, I feel like you would be better off without me. So, like I was picking up earlier, this person, um, they could have some self-worth issues, okay, some insecurities. So just allow this person to to improve themselves in that area and you as well pile three you know be honest with yourselves also because none of us are perfect so if you guys also have some self-worth issues do what you need to do okay to work through that messages from my pile threes please too many messages I feel trapped yeah and I feel like that I feel trapped card is more so like this person like they've been going through maybe bad thing after bad thing or just feeling lonely or feeling like they can't get out of like out of the stuck energy okay this is why they're feeling trapped but it's like I said pile three it's not gonna be like this forever <laughs> Okay, messages from my pile threes person. You are my soulmate. That is beautiful. And we have, please listen to my side. Yeah, so I feel like this person is wanting to, like, explain things to you. Like, maybe why they've been acting a certain way or why sometimes they're in and out. Why they get quiet. Why, you know, they don't take... um like if they don't take action or anything they may be wanting to explain things to you but like i said loves just allow this person to go through what it is that they're going through and uh, continue to be strong because i am seeing the universe continuing to support you okay like i said right now if it's stagnant it is supposed to be that way i know that might sound weird and i do see like your emotions going crazy this person's emotions going going crazy but ultimately it's leading both of you to realize what it is that you guys truly want okay um and for a lot of you this will lead to union bottom of the deck is i see your value so like yeah <laughs> that's such a beautiful card there this person knows your worth they see your value they know that like mm, <laughs> that you're very special let's see messages from my pile three person. and likewise like i said pile three this person's energy this person's also very special i promise i'll never let go infinite so yeah <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, you guys got two. It says, I keep telling myself it's not over. Hmm, denial. So for some of you guys, this person could be thinking that it's over, okay? I'm picking up for a lot of you guys that it's not because you guys did get uh, the rebirth and just everything else that I'm seeing here as well is pointing towards a new beginning in the future, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm seeing that your person could be fearing that, like, oh my god always always follow your intuition though okay pile three it's oh, like it's your choice as well uh here it says confusion we have grown so at times this person like i said because i did get this energy where they get into like a low they could kind of um withdraw themselves okay at times and it could be that like when they do this pile three i am picking up it's when they're going through confusion when they're thinking like I can't do anything right now like what am I supposed to do like all these questions coming through 
messages for my pile three. And then you have dive into the depths with me, emotional changes. Yeah, and see more water. That's funny that you guys got that as your last card. There are a lot of changes that are like, like I said, like all this emotion. That's another big message that I keep getting. And I'm seeing here like after the stagnancy, that's when your person's going to want to pounce. Okay, that's when this person is going to be feeling everything. And they might even tell you, uh, yeah. Yeah, see, bottom of the deck is I'm so cold without you, warmth. So, yeah, loves, very special message. And I will get you guys an advice card. Hang in there, pile three, because I am picking up that. For some of you guys, it's just like, I've been waiting. Just hang in there. Yeah, loves, always, like, continue to do your own thing as well, okay? Do things that make you happy so that it doesn't seem okay that is so weird every pile this yeah every pile got the strength card that's never happened that's never happened in any reading that i've done so there is something here that maybe could be going around in the collective okay and everyone is having to be strong <laughs> in in their own ways okay so we have strength every pile got this stay afloat and feel steady and calm so there is definitely a message from the universe that at this time they just want you to relax whatever is going on in your case pile three okay if you know just surrender and just know that the how it's supposed like how it's happening right now is the way it's supposed to be happening if there is a bit of stagnancy if there is a bit of withdrawn here and there okay um don't overthink things and I will say that that's easier said than done okay but um yeah like just be strong at this time because especially for your pile loves like things are balancing out okay things I am seeing are working out and you will see the emotional changes later on I'm even seeing like emotional maturity this person is wanting to come in as the divine masculine like and I do see that they want to tell you this it could even be that they don't know how okay so yeah loves this is so beautiful yeah yeah like the old is shedding so so yeah loves i think i'm gonna leave it at that private readings are opened and don't forget to answer the question of the day if you guys are feeling called to do so what is your favorite childhood movie and i will see you guys next time loves bye